start a new vlog today it is Tuesday and I just got home from the gym I decided to do something a little bit different well not that different but pretty much I walked on the treadmill for about half an hour before doing an upper body session which was so nice because I've been inspired because everyone's been talking about this hot girl walk trend and I was like what the heck is a hot girl walk like is it just a walk with a very aesthetic name I wasn't really sure anyway I looked it up and apparently it's a walk that you go on I think you're meant to walk about four miles but I don't know you can you can tailor it to how you want so the idea is that you take the time when you're walking to practice mindfulness and be present so they say to either think about your blessings think about your goals and aspirations or how hot you are which I think is hilarious hence the name hot girl walk I was not expecting that to be one of the things that they said to think about when I googled it. But anyway, I guess this practice is meant to really help with boosting your confidence and your self-worth and I really like it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a hot girl walk today but it's been miserable weather so I was like, I can't really do it outside so I'm going to do it on the treadmill and then go and do my upper body workout. And I listened to my gym playlist, which I'll have linked down below if you guys want to check it out. And it honestly it was really uplifting and I feel in a really good headspace, which I'm quite surprised by because I was not feeling that great this morning because I've been having a bit of insomnia. I slept so terribly, but I also think that's because I've been so bad with my screen time. Like today, my biggest goal is to reduce my screen time because I just feel wired at the moment and like a robot and I hate that feeling. I'm gonna make myself some protein oats for breakfast. I have been loving having this or peanut butter on toast. I've gone off of avocado, which is so unlike me, but I also think it's because the avocados aren't amazing at the moment. Shepherd's avocados are in season and it just does not compare to a Hass, Hass or Haas? A Hass avocado. <laughs> I'll show you guys the little recipe that I follow. I just copy one that I found on TikTok, but it's really good. I'll do a little time lapse and show you the recipe. Oh, that was a lot of chia seeds. Currently just working on doing some little PR parcels, which is a little bit different. I'm sending out a few of the planners to my friends and just some of my favorite creators who I think would really enjoy the planners. So I'm just spending some time packaging everything, writing a little thank you card, and I'll pop to the post office in a little bit. Isn't that the worst? Like you get a pimple and you can't help yourself and then you're like, why did I do that? Now I've got like red marks all over my face. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, did you see my text? Yeah, that's what I'm reading. Takeaway? Yeah. Yeah? Know, did you want to um, order it and like, are you okay to order it? I guess I can order it. <laughs> you guess? Yeah, I guess. How can I help you? Hi, can I please order some food for pickup? Yes, sure. What would you like to order? Can I get one pad CU and then um, a chicken uh, cashew nut noodle and then some spring rolls? Spring roll. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. I really do not feel like cooking tonight. By the way, I'm still using the K18 hair treatment. I use it every second wash roughly. And when I use it, I don't condition my hair, I just shampoo it. 
and then I pop it in my hands and emulsify it. Then I just scrunch it in my hair. And if you're gonna add any other products afterwards, you just have to wait four minutes for this to activate and then you can do whatever you want with your hair. It's just a leave-in mask basically, but it's incredible. Like I have noticed such a difference in my hair. And also, I actually think my hair is more wavy than I realized. And I've started letting my hair air dry and I've noticed that I've got these waves. And it's really interesting because I've seen a few TikToks pop up of people saying that they have curly hair, but they didn't know because they always heat styled it and they never let their hair dry naturally. But then when they started to use products that were for curly hair and style it correctly, one, their hair healed. And then also they had really beautiful curls that started to come through. So I'm really curious to see if my hair changes now that I'm like using less heat. Hello. Hello. I've ordered. 15 minutes until we need to pick it up. I do find when I scrunch my hair after washing it like this as well, that kind of creates a bit more of a curl and then I'll just like let it dry like that and not brush it out. And I really like the way it looks. So I guess you guys can come along on this whole hair journey with me. I actually think I'm gonna do some like TikToks and reels on hair because I love watching hair talk. <laughs> That's what people put in their bios anyway. morning happy thursday i didn't pick up the camera yesterday it was honestly quite a busy day but i just didn't have the opportunity to pick up the camera and i was feeling really quite anxious yesterday too and when i get in that headspace i just shut off and i'm like okay i'm not picking up the camera i find for me personally with my anxiety something will trigger it and then once i've got that emotion it kind of will follow through throughout the day until i take some time for myself to ground myself again and just clear my mind. I can't even fully remember what triggered this headspace for me yesterday, but I ended up going to an event with Jesse, which was really, really fun, but I was just feeling like really anxious about it. I get quite nervous before going to events, which I know is so normal, but I think it's a lot of social anxiety and I put a lot of pressure on myself to almost like be perfect. It's almost like performance anxiety, I guess. Even though in hindsight, after I've actually gone and experienced that event, I realized that a lot of my thoughts are actually quite irrational, but it's hard to tell yourself that when you're currently in the moment feeling that way but it was a really fun event so it was for Pix peanut butter and we did boxing and yeah it was really really nice that I came home and did a bunch of work for elements of presence and anyway the reason I wanted to whip out my camera now is because I've actually found out that I'm going to another event today which I think will be so fun this one's a lot more intimate so I'm going to a dinner with white fox you guys know that I love white fox I've been working with them for about a year now and I just feel so grateful that they've invited me to this dinner because there's only a few people who are going along and the whole idea is that we're going to a fancy restaurant but we're all going to wear loungewear. So kind of redefining the places that you can wear loungewear, which is so up for my alley. I just think sometimes also when everyone's wearing like loungewear and everyone feels comfortable, everyone is just so much more relaxed as well. And it's just a great time. So that's happening this evening. I've got to get to Coogee for 7 p.m. We're going to a restaurant called Mimi's, which I've never been to before. And it'll be so nice to meet a bunch of new girls. I actually don't know anyone. So yeah, I'm really excited to go along, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I'm a little bit nervous. And I think a lot of people feel the same, but people just don't talk about it. And maybe I shouldn't be talking about how I feel, but I just think it might help some of you guys out. And I think it's just a good reminder that you never really know what's going on inside someone's head. Someone can put up a different front to how they're actually feeling. Anyway, I've got a little bit of time until I need to get going. Brayden is literally heading out the door for lunch now. Yep. We're going separate ways, but... I thought that I'd go and do a little bit of work at a cafe today. I've also got a few errands that I need to run. I wanna go to Chemist Warehouse because I know they stock CeraVe and I wanna pick up a new cleanser because I'm using one that I don't really love at the moment and I've heard amazing things about the CeraVe one. So I wanna go there, pick up a few things and then I thought I'd go to just like a local cafe and bring my laptop, do a bit of work before I have to come back and start getting ready for tonight. I just wanna start like doing more things like that on my own. I never really go to cafes on my own and do work. I always go either with other people or just stay at home, but it's such a beautiful day. And I think it's really important to one, push myself out of my comfort zone and also 
do things for me and not just do them because I'm doing them with someone else. That's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Honestly, I've got a lot on my mind that I just need to like spill to you guys. But I've been really trying to work on like asking myself what I want and what I want to do in a current moment over like just being influenced by what other people are doing. So for example, when we go to a restaurant, I will be so influenced by what other people order and I'll be like, oh, maybe I should get that. And I'll get almost like FOMO and think that whatever I thought I should get for myself is wrong almost. Let me know if you can relate to that feeling. But basically what I'm saying is I often don't really trust my own judgment. So I have identified that about myself and it's something that I'm really trying to work on and just be a bit more conscious in my everyday choices and just think about what's best for me in that current moment. So right now, I think it would be really nice to go get a coffee and just like work from there and just spend some time alone, I guess, recharging my batteries and just getting comfortable being on my own because I feel like so many of us don't feel comfortable when we're on our own. So I want to set myself a challenge to do more solo dates and maybe I can bring you guys along. So I mean, technically I'm not alone, but I'll document it because I do think it is a really good challenge for myself and it will force me to be a bit more independent. And I think learning to actually enjoy your own company is so invaluable and important. It's something that we all need to put time into. Even if you are an extrovert, I still think it's important to learn to enjoy your own company. I'm just gonna be taking baby steps, I guess, but honestly, going to a cafe and working by myself is a pretty big thing that I've never really done before. So let's go. That was really nice. I feel like a change of scenery was exactly what I needed. And I went to Chemist Warehouse, picked up a few bits, which I'll share with you guys in a moment. But I also ended up eating lunch while I was out. I got a build your own salad, which I always love getting when cafes have that. So I sat and did a little bit of laptop work for a while. And then the cafe was like getting ready to close. So I decided to come home. I was actually considering staying out for a little bit longer and going to get my nails done because I never do that. And I thought it could be nice to have my nails done for tomorrow because I'm actually staying the night at a hotel on the central coast. We're going to the beach here. I'm going with Jessie and Maddie, which will be so fun. Of course, I'll bring you guys along. But I was like, oh, it could be nice to get my nails done. But decided, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go myself. So I'm just painting them. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy. I think the shade is called Fleur. It's kind of like a little pearly, shimmery white color. Nails are done. This is what they look like. They're just like very iridescent and like pearly. So I thought I'd share with you what I picked up from Chemist Warehouse. So the cleanser I ended up getting is a CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I've seen a lot of good reviews about this one. I got the small size because I wasn't sure if this would be like the perfect one for me because I know they do have a few different types of cleansers, but I thought I'd try that out. I then picked up some SPF, but this is actually a tinted sunscreen. It's by La Roche-Posay. You guys know that I have like the mini sample sizes and I've just been going through them and I really like it. But I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to get the tinted one because this will be really nice to wear on like those, I guess, no makeup days. So you can wear sunscreen and it's got like a little tint in it. Although who knows if this matches me because it definitely doesn't say the shade. Like... Is it just one shade fits all? And then I just picked up some body wash from Sukin. So I'm actually gonna go have a shower now and start getting ready for tonight because I've got a bit of fake tan on that I need to wash off. So I'll test this out and we'll see what it's like. Okay, so here's a little outfit of the night. I've decided to keep my hair wavy and then I've just got this chocolate tracky suit set, which literally got shipped out and arrived today, all in one day, which was very, very good. You guys know that I pretty much live in loungewear. So honestly, an event like this is so my kind of event, like going to a fancy restaurant in loungewear, what more can you want? And then I'm just wearing my Air Forces. So yeah, I'm excited to meet some new girls and try out a new restaurant and I'll bring you guys along. I don't know how much I'll vlog, but we will see. Let's try. Everyone couldn't be a 
Wow. Ella's not doing so good. I know. I you did good at dinner though. Yes. So proud of you. I haven't picked up the camera since last night. I had a really fun night. A very late night though. Like I got home at like midnight. I was like, oh my gosh. That'll make you feel better. Some bikis. biscuits. <laughs> Some oh bikis. my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I need to give context because it's so random. I'm just like lying in a bed that you guys don't recognize. And yeah, I haven't updated you on last you night. Go. But it was really, really fun. I was saying to the vlog that I was feeling anxious. Jesse actually knew how I felt before going to the event yesterday because I was like, it was a bit out of my comfort zone because I was going yeah, on my own, you know? Oh, yeah, it's always but, like, I don't know if anyone's been to an event or something on their own and it's just like you don't quite know people and it's a little it's bit It's the like, fear of the unknown. Yes. Yeah. But my mantra is, what if everything works out? What if it goes so well? What if everything, everything I works love out? That. Yeah. What if you get a clear <laughs> run with traffic? Like every what time. What if you find the perfect Seriously, car park? I was like, and that, you did. I think I saw it on a reel and it was like, what if everything works out? And it was like all inspirational. And then I thought to myself, honestly, <laughs> true. Though. Like, why do we assume the worst yeah, case scenario like sometimes? Don't you think? Oh, yes, yeah, thanks. Like, we always yes. assume the we worst so case. We so do. That's, that's called it's anxiety. Oh, it's called anxiety. And I want, I want to get that tattooed on my body so I can join the tattoo club. <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> no, not anxiety. I want, I want on my body. But what if it all anxiety. works out? <laughs> Anyway, so tuned. It is the next day, and um, I'm actually quite sick. Ella, um, yeah, this is this is. <laughs> she's really doing well to put on a smile. Your right poor now. thing in the car was not well. I yeah, know. but I did a rat test. It was negative, and I don't think it's like COVID symptoms because it feels like a really like fiery Chesty. cough, mm. like it burns like a chest infection. So. Yeah, but we're in the right place. The girls and I have come away to the beachy hotel. We brought lots it's of medicine for Ella. Oh, it's so that you can survive. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> Honestly, this is the place I want to be when I'm not feeling And 100%. this place is just to relax. We're going to lay by yep. the pool tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. just everything's here. Food's here. Pool's here. We're just going to stay yep. here and chill. We're here for two nights and it's stunning. It's like, the most fancy hotel room I've ever been to in my life. Literally. And we're... On the central coast. We were I, like, is this Hawaii? Is I this feel Bali? Like I'm overseas. I feel like I'm in Hawaii. I know. Yeah. The view. Oh, I don't Have even know seen? if I've got Have clips. I can't remember, but it's, <laughs> it was amazing. Stunning. Yeah, anyway. Daddy. We are keen for a chill night. We're going to eat some. Got some lint chocolate. chocolate. Yes, Try it. Is that salted caramel? We want to watch the new season oh, I think it of. Is. Oh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things season four. Yes. Mm. Dropped today. Yes. <gasps> Apparently, so they've got a monster on Bondi Logo. Beach. Well, not a real monster. Oh, yeah, though, pop but. a photo here. They've like done this oh, whole so cool. marketing yeah. campaign. Mm -hmm. Whoever thought of this, genius. genius. Yeah. So <laughs> literally, yeah. whoever you are, please show yourself. <laughs> it's good job. It's so cool. I've seen everyone like taking photos of it. It's just the smartest marketing move. You know, real. you know, they spent more money on Stranger Things than Game of Thrones. Fun fact. Literally, Isn't honestly, that crazy? it's probably the CGI in that first yeah. episode. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I believe that. I bought my new portable projector, and so our plan is to play around with it and maybe watch it on the ceiling. Because we were like, how good yes. would it be or to lie in bed? But then you don't have to sit up. You can literally lie in bed like this <gasps> and watch the movie. <laughs> Do you know what's the best thing ever? This like, is a double bed, but that's a king oh, bed. Yeah. And we'll just mm. sit there and put it. Yeah. I need to do yes. a room tour. At some point, but right now, maybe in the morning, we're gonna chill. Yeah, yeah. You need to rest and rest your voice, <laughs> and you guys have a shower and chill out. Yeah, honestly, can't You're go out to have a shower. <laughs> Later, uh, she's in bed and not moving anymore. <laughs> it's only like six p.m. though. You are in <laughs> It's only six on holidays on our wild holiday. Like, yeah, a girls' trip includes being in bed at six p.m. How good that we've been on so many no girls regrets. trips. Like, I know. Together. Yes, in like the three past three months. Three of us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you guys will get to come along with us for the next few days, which will be fun. Yes. Yay. Fingers crossed I feel yes. better. <laughs> I thought I'd do an update. I literally have not left the bed since I spoke to you guys yesterday. I've just gone downhill. <laughs> you can tell by my voice, but I'm not well at all. The girls have been amazing at looking after me though like honestly the best best friends they went to the chemist and bought me stuff and yeah they've been chilling by the pool and like gave me some space to just chill in here and relax and I've just been sleeping 
all day. Now the girls are just going to watch Stranger Things and I think we're going to get some chips and guac to eat, which will be nice before dinner. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll fill up to dressing up for dinner because that would be really, really nice. It's a shame that I wasn't able to go out and like and enjoy the pool today because there's this like incredible pool here and I just really wanted to be out there, but I really didn't expect to feel like this when we were away. Otherwise, I would have stayed at home. But I'm going to do another COVID rapid test. I don't think it's COVID just because my symptoms are much more like, I'd say more of like a chest infection. It's much more phlegmy. But also, you can never be too safe. So I just want to check that. But this is just my little check-in. Honestly, I'm in the best place to be relaxing right now. Like, And it's really nice because sometimes when you're sick, like you want to rest, but you also get really bored. But because the girls are here just like doing their thing, it's really nice because I'll be like resting, but like I still feel like I'm a part of everything going on because like I can like hear them chatting and stuff. And yeah, it's it's been nice having them here. Anyway, that's all I've got to say for now. Hopefully I improve a little bit tonight. So. We made it. We made it. We made it. Oh yeah. Daddy's <laughs> changed your pants. What an experience. Sorry, those last clips were very chaotic. <laughs> I can't even breathe. <laughs> I'm still dying. I still like I'm short of breath from just the whole experience. Oh yeah. But we brought home some goodies oh. to make Ella feel better and um, so to sweet. make everyone feel better, really, because that was traumatic. 50 tea bags, $2.10. You're going to love this. I mean, I'm going to love this. What is it? Oh, Coke. Coke Zero. Oh, Sour Patch Kids. Lovely. Goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Now we're having snacks. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> to make you feel a bit better. And then I got the matching dairy-free version of the Wafery. <laughs> yes. Tina Wafers. Absolutely oh. stunning. These are dairy-free. These Ooh. are dairy-free. Should, we, should we taste test? Yes. Done another Let's negative see. rat just so everyone knows. So it's the flu, News. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's negative. I cannot believe it. can just sit on my oh, toes. Oh, this is so nice and warm. Let me know if you guys have tried oh, this. Oh, I haven't. Oh my god! Okay, it's I'll so be... good. My mum bought some. Actually, do you want to touch it? Because I don't think I should touch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you play the bits. Wait. Okay. Should I do? We'll do two each. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Uh. Tell me what you think, Maddie. Oh, wow, yeah, it tastes really good. That's really good. I really like, you like cow it? milk. Yum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, that's so uh, good. Do we just eat it totally wrong by, like, biting into it? it like this? Maddie? Is this correct, or are you supposed to split the two <laughs> Oh, you're going to trick us This would be the perfect. <laughs> can I smell it? Yeah. I can't eat this, but how nice mm. is it to smell it? There's just something good. about this is so good. It's really think. creamy. Do you like the yeah. caramel bars, like, just on their own? No. <gasps> Interesting. Well, I like them, but I, it wouldn't be my pick. How many layers of wafer is in it? You know, it's probably mm. cheaper for them to make because there's less chocolate in it. Mm. Oh. Like, there's only chocolate on the top and the bottom, right? Oh. Mm. That's about it. Oh. Save it for later. They're That's new, weird. right? They've only <laughs> just come out. Mm. Sorry. Oh, you okay? You okay? <laughs> yeah. Do you need some dummy What is it? Maybe. Do you yeah, have some more? Yep. Let's Maybe. get some. Okay, I'm lowering you down slowly. Oh. I'm lowering you down slowly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to get back up to turn the camera <laughs> I got her. She's I'm coming. Good. She's coming. <laughs> Whoa. 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 No, that's the only band. <laughs> Just want to let everyone know, um, this is such a vibe. All of us sitting in, in our dressing gowns. dressing gowns. Ella is setting up a projector on the roof for us it's to watch a movie. The Parent no. Trap. We're watching The Parent Trap. Look at this. Right. It's movie time. Snacks. It's movie time. Got yes. Snacks. Got I feel like Ella's in a better off. mood now that we've got food. Oh! Oh, not the way. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Five not. second roll. Five That's second roll. Put them on plate. Uh, <laughs> we've decided to watch The Parent Trap tonight. Turns out Maddie's never watched it, so we were like, okay. We yes. need to watch The Parent Trap on my digital projector, <laughs> you guys. It's so, so cool. It's so cool. It's this so is cool. an experience. Let me Hang flip on. the camera around. So this is our little projector over here. And then this is what it looks like. <gasps> oh my god. 
<laughs> so this is my new projector from BenQ. It's called the GV30. And it's so cool because it's portable. So I can literally bring it anywhere. Like when we're away on a girl's trip, which is so, I'm so sure practical. You can even do this like while you're camping. Oh yeah. Imagine doing that like while you're camping and like yes. setting up a tarp and like. That is such oh, a good idea. My... Well, Maddie and I were just saying, because Maddie's got this like gorgeous backyard with a fire pit and <gasps> do, stuff. Like, we were like, fire pit. we should do oh. a fire pit night with this. Also, it's not just a projector. I should mention that. It's actually a speaker as well. Okay, so here's a good look of what it looks like. We've got the buttons on the front. We've got on and the volume buttons and the Bluetooth button. And you can move it around just like this. So as you can see, it is moving around on the ceiling. <laughs> also, once it's fully charged, the battery lasts for two and a half hours. Wow. So it's currently plugged into the charger, but... So it lasts it, all the long charged, movies. Yeah, it lasts the whole movie. So... Yeah, at the moment we have it plugged in, but once it's fully charged, we won't need to do that. Woohoo! Oh, oh my wait, god! Wait. Ready? Are we gonna sing? No. You can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the quality is insane. Absolutely insane. Are we at the cinema? This is the best outfit you've class? ever done in your life. Yes! I know. <laughs> so the GV30 actually has a Bluetooth speaker, which has a great audio and bass, in my opinion. And there are four different sound modes. So there's cinema, game, sports, and music mode for you to choose from. As for streaming, you can do this a number of ways. The projector actually has wireless projection, so you can connect through Wi-Fi or your hotspot, and that allows you to use Chromecast or screen mirroring from your device. You can also stream through Android TV, which is already set up for you, or you can download apps through Google Play. So something that really impressed me about this projector is the autofocus and just the video quality in general. So you can actually control the focus by the remote. And something else that's really cool and so helpful is the fact that it has a vertical keystone. So this automatically adjusts, but you can also manually adjust this with the remote, which is always really helpful. As you can see from the clips, Brayden and I have been really enjoying using the projector at home in our bedroom as well, because we recently got rid of our TV to create a screen-free room. So having this projector has been the best solution because it's made the room feel so cozy and it's just been the best solution. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I will leave a link in my description box. It's a new day. We're just about to check out and my energy levels are a lot better today actually, but still don't feel great. And poor Maddie has just joined yeah, the club. I was sick also. Yeah. She was feeling a little bit run down when we left, but she managed to pull through and then today the poor thing. I don't know what's happened. My body's just given up on me. Yeah, I think it's, it's also... That's enough. You need to rest now. Yeah, I think it's just slowing down as well, does it? But I realised I didn't give you a little tour of the room, so before we check out, I'll do that. Although it is kind of like a mess now. Like the beds have been slept in. You know. Sorry. Look, it looks better than it did this morning because we've actually packed up. I'll flip the camera around and show you. It's actually so spacious. This is our little so bathroom. We've got a bath in here. I slept in this bed, the sofa bed, which was so nice to have to myself, keep the germs away. We've got the big, big master bed. And then it takes us out onto this balcony. So beautiful. How stunning is the pool? I'm definitely coming back here, like, I need to experience it properly. <laughs> 